Hello, Taurus, and welcome to Taurus Truth Tarot, where we are all Taurus all the time. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. This is going to be your reading for the week of July 28th to August 3rd. I can't believe we're almost in August. So, uh, before we get started, I just want to let everybody know that you should, if you haven't, join our Taurus Inspiration membership here on YouTube. Yes, it is uh, a paid membership, but you can cancel at any time. But we're doing amazing things over there. We are doing different types of readings, meditations, we're doing pendulum, we're doing runes. So come join us over there. If you can't find the join button, let me know. It should be below this video. But if you can't, just put it in the comments and I will attach it to your comment. So we would love to have you over there. So let's get into it. Let's see what's going on for the week. Divine Source Creator, what is the overall energy for the week of August 28th through, uh, did I say August? Yes, I did. Uh, from July 28th to August 3rd. July 28th to August 3rd. Show us clearly, please. What is the overall energy? Show us clearly, please. Divine Source Creator. What is the overall? Thank you. All right. Uh, grounded. Oh, gosh, would I say so? That makes perfect sense, first of all, because we are Taurus and we definitely need to ground. Many of the most evolved beings on Earth are regular folks living with joy, dignity, and courage. So this is definitely a week where I feel like you get noticed, okay? Because you're living within your joy, because you have that dignity for self, and because you have courage, right, to go for the things that you desire, I would tell you that I think this is a week where you get attention. Um, and that can come in many forms, right? If you're looking for love, you might be getting a lot of offers to go on dates. Uh, you could get promotions. You could get new clients. Um, but you're definitely being noticed. I, I have very much six of wands feeling, right? That's kind of what they're showing me. Um, and I think it's because, I think it's because you're so focused on self right now. And I think that's a big thing for Taurus. We are very much focused on self as we should be because uh, the North Node is in Aries. Aries rules the first house of I am. So we're very focused on ourselves. doesn't mean we're not kind and considerate and help people out when they need it. But we're making ourselves the priority and I would say just because it is also the grounded card to make sure you are grounding yourself uh, bare feet on the ground hands on a tree you know be in nature okay that is Taurus's rightful place and it's needed it's scientifically proven how much that helps um, but again I feel like because you're so focused on you which is a good thing that it's drawing people in right it's drawing people in um there's a certain silence about it right there's a certain silence about it that i'm really enjoying because one thing that taurus is really good at is we know we know how to be quiet we know how to listen we i mean and that that is such an advantage it's kind of like one because you can truly listen when another person is talking, they, that makes them admire you even more. Two, you're smart enough that if somebody is bullshitting you in any way, shape, or form, you don't try to prove them wrong. You just let them keep talking and they talk themselves into, you know, <laughs> into oblivion. <laughs> so I like this. For the most part, though, I'm really, really getting this feeling of Six of Wands energy. So let's see what we have in the tarot here. Angels, guides, ancestors. What is the message for Taurus, please? Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and north node. What is the message? Show me clearly, please. What is the message for Taurus? July 28th through August 3rd. July 28th through August 3rd. Yeah, so you have the queen of voices here. Um... And it's funny because I said the whole bullshit part. It's like the queen of voices for me is 
two things that's coming out in this reading. One, it's like I can read all the bullshit. She is my no bullshit card. I can see right through the bullshit. But two, it is you really... I, I feel like you're really... I don't know how to say this. Give me the words, please, Spirit. It's like you're silent, but when you do speak, it is eloquent, it is short and to the point, and it's profound. And because of that, you are attracting in some really great people, promotions, love, right? It's like I'm clear, concise, eloquent, and to the point. And I, I like that, right? I feel like, oh gosh, I don't even know how to put it. It's just, it's, it's strong and it's firm, but it's also compassionate. It's like a really good week for you, man. Lots of great balance that comes in with this. Show me clearly for Taurus. Especially with the Queen of Voices here, because there's something about the throat chakra, and I know some of you know this, some of you don't. We rule the throat chakra. Taurus rules the throat chakra. So we can actually speak things into existence, but we also we also know how to balance that out with the silence that is needed. And I would tell you guys this. I am open for personal readings and or Reiki sessions. Reiki is energy healing. And if you book, I have many different Reikis out there, but if you book the 30-minute distance Reiki session, that focuses on the chakras. And if you decide to do that, put your name and put throat chakra. If you feel like your throat chakra is not in alignment, because that is your most powerful movement, Taurus, is the voice, uh, book that reading, okay? The link is in the description box below. And it's the 30-minute distance Reiki. And then put your name and next to your name, put throat. If you feel like you're not being heard, if you feel like you're not willing to voice what you need to say, if you feel like your words are not... That's too many. Sorry, I didn't realize how many was there. Um, if you feel like your voice isn't working the magic it needs to, book that distance Reiki. And the distance Reiki is very, very powerful because it's energy healing. And I do it for people all over the world, literally all over the world. So, let's see what we have. Show me clearly. Thank you. Yeah, look. Oh, I did call it, I did call it Six of Wands. Okay, so yeah, some of you are feeling blocked. I don't, that's why... That's why they had me mention that. The Three of Voices really is... Um, when we feel disappointed because we're not manifesting what we want, the Three of Voices is also in this reading... Um, feel like it's like not being able to let go of things that have hurt you in the past what others have said to you right I mean we've all had people say crappy things to us I mean that's just the way it is um, but maybe that has stuck with you maybe even subconsciously it's stuck with you but I feel like this is the week where you release it because she's in here, I don't know if you can see it, the eyes, they're crying, which is, crying's okay, guys. Crying is absolutely okay. And, and it's releasing. That's what crying is. It's re a releasing, right? So I feel like you might be releasing some of those things that made you question your ability to manifest anything that you want, okay? And then, but you come out ahead this week. You come out ahead. Look at this. The six of inspiration, the six of wands. I've seen it from the beginning. And you will be in the spotlight. Um, and look at, it doesn't matter if you're male or female, but look at the confidence and the grace and 
I don't know, there's something that's healing inside you this week that is allowing you to shine, literally to shine. Now, I don't, it doesn't matter if you're male or female, it, it doesn't, but they're kind of giving me like Jackie Onassis, uh, Grace Kelly, that kind of sophistication, that kind of ability to communicate. And I just, I don't know, there's something about it where you are just attracting in the right things with that, with that energy. Beautiful. Show. Okay. Look at this. Nine of inspiration. Yeah. Look at, look at how poised everybody is in all these cards that are coming out. So the nine of inspiration is the nine of wands. Now, a lot of people, you know, it's called the wounded warrior card, but in this deck, she is just standing tall and proud. She, it feels like no matter how many times you've tried to take me down, you can't affect me. 11, 11 on the timer. I love that. And I will tell you, Taurus, I really do love that because I've been attacked my whole life in one way or another. I'm sure we all have. But nothing has stopped me. Has it paused me? Three of voices? Sure. Sure. But it hasn't stopped me. And I, I've said this before in readings, but for those of you who are new, thank you for being here. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Um, some really great advice that I've heard. I It's not mine. I obviously heard it somewhere else, which is, um, it's none of your business what people say or think about you. So whoever or whatever situation where they've tried to tear you down in the past now or even in the future it, you, you have a different way of walking right through it right i'm walking right through it it, it just yeah there's something like it, i don't know you're just very graceful about it and you're like i'm a fighter but i can be a graceful fighter i mean think about that we are a taurus we are the most patient sign in the world but boy when you yeah <laughs> when when a taurus has had enough they've had enough we we can get very vicious. I am, I would say I'm one of the nicest people out there. Of course, I choose to be one of the nicest people out there. But if you cross me, I will rip you to shreds verbally. I can do it. Right? So, but we choose not to do that, right? We choose to be graceful. I don't know. There's something here that is so magnificent. Show me clearly, please. Show me clearly. Yeah, look at this page of materials so that is the news coming in so again because of your grace because of your eloquence because of your ability to use your voice properly um, you get the offer this could be an offer of love right stable stable love even though it's Pentacles energy but this could be the job offer the client but whatever it is it's a very serious and stable offer Okay, and then, of course, we have the lover's card. So like I said, it could be love for some of you. But remember, lover's is partnership. It could be a business partnership. Um, it could be, like I said, a, a new work situation, new clients, love, new friendships. And the lover's card was also known as the choice card. So your choice to be silent your choice to use your words wisely right you're on the right path because the sixes do talk about being on the right path too so i really like this um i like this confidence in you right i like this this confidence in you this i don't know this energy feels really really strong and really good yet like I said graceful and compassionate too and then you start shining you start shining quite a bit Taurus this is a good week for you all right show me clearly please what is the message for Taurus 
What is the message for Taurus? Thank you. This says, let go of all aversions. Yeah, let go of all aversions. Meet every challenge and flow with life. Yeah, you've learned that whatever challenge is or if you know, whatever somebody's saying to try to knock you down, you're, yeah, you're fine. You just walk away, right? You just, mm-hmm. This is a very powerful energy, Taurus. Because when you can get to this state, one, you start getting what you desire. You start having peace in your heart. And I will tell you, it's going to blow their minds that they can't get under your skin. Right? You are, I'm just telling you, like, whatever's going on this week, you come out ahead You come out ahead. Yeah, that, that's really what they're telling me. You come out ahead. And I'm not saying that this is happening. For some of you, it is happening. I'm not saying it's going to happen. Maybe. Most of you, this is like the past energy, though, that you've let go of. This is like the past hurt, too, right? So, it feels really, really good, Taurus. It feels really, really good. I like it. I'm here for it. So, with that being said, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment. I read each and every one. Join us at Taurus Inspiration and open up that throat chakra. Go ahead and book your Reiki session, okay? So, love, light, and blessings to you. Until next time.